Peggy 18. Hello, my name is Jim Boone, senior producer on Saints Row 4. We're going to show you the new features from our PAX pre-alpha demo, so let's get started. Our first big addition to Saints Row 4 is the fact that the leader of the Saints is now the president of the United States of America. So here you can see two cars from Saints Row 3 are returning. Pretty disappointing because uh, from what we've seen, there hasn't been too many new cars. America. He has continued his climb to the top and has now become the leader of the free world. And you're seeing him in a virtual steel port. We're going to touch upon that a little bit later as we continue through this demo. But next we're going to see the president greet some of his people. Hey, I'm out of gum. <laughs> I will put my fist down your throat! Peace the fuck out! Evolution, we've always taken a lot. So there, we just saw something not too special, but it's a new attack and a new taunt. A lot of pride in some of the got? weapons that we come up with, and we're going to introduce a couple of them to you today. The first. One. So they redid the weapon selecting system, and I don't know if that's a good thing because the old layout was a trademark for Saints Row. One is called the Inflator Ray. <laughs> We can see the inflate array being used in action, and I'm hoping you can leave them inflated and then just walk away. So it's kind of like a city of inflated citizens, which is pretty cool. Also, you can see that this is all the same uh, citizen models as Saints Row 3. We like to think that only Saints Row 4 can offer weapons that are as strange and exotic as this. see a lot of wrestling type combat maneuvers and this leads me to think that maybe you can switch your combat style like in Saints Row 2. All hail to me. Next we're going to introduce one of the fan favorites from PAX. If you look to the right of your screen you can see the 45 Shepard will be returning. But it's weird because when you scroll over it says the 45 F Fletcher. This one is called the dubstep gun. The dubstep gun seems really cool actually. But if they use and replay the same track over and over again, it'll get really annoying and repetitive. So you're going to see later on in this video, once you hit level 3 police notoriety, the policemen will turn into Zin aliens. And as you can see, the new police car model. And those are just a couple of our... The two vehicles on your screen right now are two returning vehicles, actually. Except one of them is the Infuego Monsterized, Monster Truckerized, I guess you could say. And it's called the Infuego XL. More exotic weapons in Saint Row 4. And we'll be revealing more of those in the months to come. But next, we're going to go do a little bit of shopping. So why not... Now this is something I found quite interesting actually. Every time you see floating debris it, in this trailer, it's one of your hideouts. So every one of your hideouts in this virtual world is basically rubbish now. Take a monster truck to get there. While I'm analyzing this video, I want to throw in some bitter humor. I want you to play a game while you're watching this video. And try and find a new car. That's it. Because I'm pretty sure you can't find one. Yeah. Next we're going to introduce weapon customization. Customization has always been a major feature of Saints Row games in the past, and we've decided to extend that into the weapons now as well. So here you're going to see us take a rocket launcher. And we're I apologize for not zooming in on this part or panning in. But if you look in directly in the center of your screen, you'll see a, a gun that looks like a, a soaker or some sort, like a like a water gun. We're going to be able to upgrade this weapon. In Saints Row 3, we introduced weapon upgrades, and people really enjoyed that. But so in Saints Row 4, they really, uh, they really did well with the uh, weapon upgrades, I must say. For what I've seen, you can customize skins and really get in-depth with the upgrades. Although there's no way to tell if you can downgrade your weapons, but oh well. That does it for this part, and trust me, part two will be much more in-depth because there's a lot more things they show off. Uh, I just want to say thanks for watching. and.